What's up everyone, this is Max Red. For Cubase Quick Tips today, we're going to go over the tempo track and how it can help in your production. So let's get started. The tempo track in Cubase is used to create tempo changes within a project. The tempo track can affect any MIDI or audio tracks and can also be used for recording. For demonstration, we loaded up some elements from the Cubase Rock and Pop toolbox. Let's listen. To create a tempo track, we go to the Project tab, Add Track, and then we select Tempo. Only one tempo track can be used in a project. Notice that our tempo track is already activated. We can click the icon to toggle between fixed tempo and track tempo modes. You can also click on the transport panel below. The original tempo of this track is 152 beats per minute. Let's expand our tempo track and move it up our playlist. To edit the tempo track, you can simply use the pencil tool and create points right on the track itself, wherever you want the changes. You may or may not want your snap activated while doing this, but notice that in our left zone inspector, each point position is being recorded. Let's say that we want our tempo to ramp down towards the end of this event. We can go ahead and create points going down this way. Let's listen to what that does. Our audio loops didn't match our changes, so we activate musical mode on both of those tracks, and then we see the improvement. Let's listen now. Let's delete our points, and now we can control the fixed tempo with our automation line. Let's listen to that. Now let's go up in tempo. Let's add some more points and you can see how adjustments can be made as a group. Using the object selection tool, you can select the points that you want to group together. You can move them up or down vertically, ramp down, and we can even move the points closer in line by pulling the right side here. In our left zone panel, we can open up the Tempo Track Editor and make more detailed adjustments. This is handy if you're applying tempo changes to your entire track, or if you're doing it in multiple locations. You can also open up your Process Tempo dialog and insert your parameters there. You can always delete all of the automation and simply go back to the original tempo. Ours is 152. That's all I have for today guys. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment or a like to see more videos like this. Thank you.